Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And I'm not wearing enough khaki to be in this space right now. This is the Chief Petty Officer's Lounge on the Battleship New Jersey. And we're filming to you today from in here on the 37th anniversary of the Beirut Barracks bombing in 1983. The country of Lebanon was in the middle of a civil war. Uh, UN peacekeepers, largely from France and the United States, were deployed to Lebanon. However, the civil war uh, continued to escalate and the UN peacekeepers were seen as supporters of the Christian uh, president of the country instead of the Muslim majority. Uh, and so a number of forces started to lob indirect fire into the uh, peacekeeping compounds, including where the Marines were based and operating from. In August of 1983, a mortar round killed two U.S. Marines and wounded two others, prompting policy experts to call for the battleship New Jersey, at that time the only active battleship anywhere in the world, to be assigned to 6th Fleet. At the time, battleship New Jersey had been finishing up uh, more or less a shakedown cruise shortly after being recommissioned in December of 82. Uh, she was in the Pacific, and on her way back to her home port of Long Beach, she was diverted to uh, Nicaragua, where there was some conflict that the United States wanted resolved. Prior to the New Jersey getting there, that ceased to be an issue, uh, but then the call came for her to join 6th Fleet. So she departed 7th Fleet's area of operations, passed through the Panama Canal, and uh, sailed into the Mediterranean Sea. By the time she arrived off the coast of Lebanon, a ceasefire had already been announced, uh, as ceasefires tend to be in civil wars. There was an awful lot of shooting going on, and uh, the battleship, along with other uh, Sixth Fleet assets were retained just off the coast, in addition to the Marines ashore. It is now believed that members from an early iteration of Iran's Hezbollah state-sponsored terrorist organization, uh, hoping to get the peacekeepers to leave Lebanon, set up the plan which uh, would eventually lead to the deaths of over 200 U.S. Marines, sailors, soldiers, and French paratroopers. Uh, two vans loaded with over 20,000 pounds equivalent of uh, TNT were detonated, one at the Marine Corps barracks at the airport and another one at the uh, French barracks. The resulting explosion killed more Marines in a single day than any other action since the Battle of Iwo Jima, and more Americans in a single day than any action since the first day of the Tet Offensive. Among the dead was electronics technician chief Michael Gorchinsky, who served uh, on the battleship New Jersey. He and a group of electronics technicians from the battleship had flown out to the Marine Corps barracks to help calibrate their sensor equipment, which was being used to uh, try and spot where Syrian and Lebanese artillery was being fired at them from. He missed the helicopter back to the ship and so spent the night at the Marine Corps barracks. 
So that morning when the explosion went off, he was caught in a blast when the building collapsed. Gorjinsky was an expert marksman and an accomplished rifleman. However, the rules of engagement prevented any of the peacekeepers from having chambered rounds in their guns, and none were able to fire on the uh, vehicle that crashed into the building. In fact, uh, peacekeepers were not allowed to fire for several months. It was November before Battleship New Jersey was able to fire her first salvo, which were the first shots fired from a battleship since 1969. Uh, and it was February of the next year before she was able to do any serious counter battery fire. And on that occasion, she fired some 300 high explosive rounds into Lebanon. Uh, some of her fire was deadly accurate and destroyed many Syrian and Lebanese artillery positions, including the command and control facility with the top Syrian general in Lebanon. Uh, other rounds were found to have landed as much as five miles off target due to an error back in uh, ordnance handling in the United States where old powder bags were remixed, causing them to burn at different rates, uh, which threw off the computer's aim. It was rectified after the event. But these gun shoots, uh, were less accurate than they could be and possibly resulted in civilian casualties. Additionally, uh, the simple fact that the peacekeepers were firing showed that they were taking sides in the conflict to many of the locals. And so uh, by the end of February, U.S. forces had pulled out of the area and the battleship New Jersey, which had completed the longest deployment of a warship since World War II, was finally able to return to her home port in Long Beach, California. That would be the last time she passed through the Panama Canal prior to being donated to New Jersey as a museum. Please join me today in taking a moment of silence to remember all of the victims of the Lebanese Civil War, both peacekeepers and civilians.